you know this word is so tricky and very easy to understand okay this man fell in love with you the moment he saw you allow me to tell you that when it comes to love you must understand that when you pray that God lead me into serious divine love it is true God will guide you God Almighty is faithful you must be willing to hear what the Lord is to say that is why there is a thing called love at first sight and I want to tell you that love at first sight under normal circumstances it is scary love at first sight sometimes it is it does not even feel real you will encounter this you must know what to do you must be ready not to be uh, deceived you must be ready not to miss out because one of the most common things you know what one common one of the most common things I have realized throughout my life what I have sat down and observed from people is that it is not a matter of people just find it hard to meet the right one but it's just that our fantasies when it comes to meeting the right one being located they are the ones that gets most in uh, in trouble it's the one that makes most people to not see it when it happens allow me to explain because I want to tell you nothing as beautiful than when God gives you someone who falls in love with you and someone I decree and I declare you are being located by someone that loves you for real in Jesus mighty name I pray for you right now take it right now in Jesus mighty name hallelujah so listen Jacob fell in love with Rachel at first, F, um, at first sight you know what I'm saying the moment he saw where he was like in love and such does exist it's just unfortunately we as human beings as we grow as we get disappointed and all we tend to end up uh, creating our own formula an idea of what is real love how does it grow how what should be what should happen you know that's why some people will tell you i don't believe in love in first sight so this thing is not a matter of whether you believe or not it's a matter of is it there or not is it real you meet uh ishmael today as a lady and he just loves you you get what i'm saying it's not a matter of you as a lady feeling like ah no since i don't believe in love first sight no Ishmael is in love. If he loves you, he loves you. And even if you can wait six months to, to for you to believe that he loves me, if he's faking, he is faking. He does not really love you. So this is where it, uh, it all comes from. So you get what I'm saying. But the, one of the most important parts that you must note down is this. Do you have a notebook? If you do, note this down. Love is always scary. When someone shows you love, that's what I mean. Real love is, is scary and real love is easy to now start to take it for granted when you are shown love. Those two things are the reason why most people, they break up and why most people, uh, they don't value it when finally love comes. But when they are outside, almost everybody do here i just need someone who can love me for me i need true love but true love is hard to take it because the moment you get it it is easy to take it for granted it's easy to be scared you feel like maybe someone is faking you get what i'm saying it's like that but one of the third things that i can mention when it is to love regret is certain most of the time and why is the regret always there it is all because when now we are out of love when we are mistreated when we are no longer shown value we start to look down on ourselves 
and we start to cherish what it means to for someone to look at you as a as a gain as a treasure as a something special honestly to be loved it's so beautiful i won't lie to you to be loved is so beautiful but enemy has a way of making us fall out of love that is why satan is fighting hard to get rid of us from the love of god because he knows that god loves us and he knows the things that annoys the lord that is why he even tempted the lord jesus himself satan does not like it when god is showing us love that is why he will try harder to get you out of love in fact this thing is also common in our daily living workplace when you they see someone is being favored the most they try to sabotage you get what i'm saying workplace at a school you feel like oh this one is loved the most oh now when they want to uh, uh, promote people this one is always uh, a first option it is due to that everyone wants to be loved and then again when they are loved we take it for granted but let me tell you it takes a special discipline there are two instances that can make you value love okay one of them is this one of them is if you are to really value real love you must be in a position where you you were never really loved in the beginning or you really you want someone to treasure you for you and you must also know the second thing is this when it comes to value love you must understand that love will make you feel so high and unfortunately for most people the moment they start to be valued to be lifted up that is why there is this thing like you know what you always feel, it's like love can make you feel like you can even do better man you can even feel like ha oh, come on it means i'm special oh, come on it means like that's how when someone loves you how they can show you so you must just note down that no matter love is like it makes you to feel and to feel comfortable to it boosts your self esteem and when it's like that it reaches a point where you no longer even need the love from anybody else and when it is like that it reaches a point where you feel like perhaps everyone else do, sees you like that when someone is showing you enough love you got what i'm saying it's easy for you to feel like come on i guess this is just who i am this is just how i am so it's easy that you will tend to take it for granted and you will easily feel like everybody else can just love you like that that is why you are not to take it for granted when you receive that deep love because it is a blessing from the lord hallelujah it is a blessing from the lord it is not for granted and i pray that in jesus mighty name let love locate you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ you are receiving divine love you are being loved and it is divine you will value it you shall not waste it in jesus mighty name amen and of course that's all i had my details on the comment section below see you next time